Lord, how sad a sight it is to see the streets empty of people and about us two shops in three, if not more, generally shut up. So wrote the great diarist Samuel Pepys in 1665 during the Great Plague that killed a quarter of London's population. At the time, no one knew where the plague came from or how it spread, but they knew certain measures protected them. People isolated themselves or left for the countryside and stopped touching each other. Public entertainment was banned and the unfortunate victims were shut up in their houses to avoid infecting others. 355 years later, many of the techniques to avoid contagion remain the same. But thank goodness for scientific and medical advances and the development of public hospitals. St Catharines has dealt with several pandemics and epidemics in our 164 year history. The worst was the Spanish flu pandemic of 1919 when the government ordered schools to close for six weeks and lessons took place by correspondence. Today we have modern technology and our superb ICT team and teaching staff who are keeping us connected in innovative ways. It has been lovely to see the teachers talking to a screen of 20 student faces during lessons. I've enjoyed saying hello to girls in a few of the classes. This term has been uncharted for us on a personal level, but the school has charted this course before and come out on the other side, and so we will again. At our first assembly of the year, I spoke to the girls about the value of a smile and the pointlessness of worrying. I showed them a slide that asked the questions, do you have a problem and can you do something about it? It may seem trivial now because this has been such a terrible problem for so many people, but we all can and we are doing something about it. If you're having difficulties in any way, please contact us so we can try to help. We are here to support our families over the next few months so that we can chart our way through this and back to the St Catharines we know and love. And in the meantime, although it's hard, try to smile rather than worry. And before we know it, we'll all be back together again. Happy Easter.